The following question is taken from element 1, Workplace Hazards and Risk Control, and is covered in 1.5. Contractors are to carry out maintenance work on a roof and working at height cannot be avoided. Outline measures to consider to help reduce the risk of injury to contractors and others. You have eight minutes to answer this question and your time starts now.
This question asks you to outline measures that you should consider to help reduce the risk of injury to contractors and other people who would be affected by their work. Your answers should have been structured around planning work at height, selecting and using the correct work equipment, ensuring that only competent people carry out work at height, and how to protect other people who may be affected by the work that's being carried out. Let's now look at each of these sections in turn. Work at height should always be carefully planned before it starts. That means that the contractor needs to carry out a risk assessment of the work and also produce a method statement which will detail the safe system of work, including all the measures they'll take to prevent both the fall of people from working platforms and also materials onto people below. When we look at selecting and using work equipment, some of the issues you could have highlighted would have been selecting suitable access equipment for the task, including examples such as tower scaffolds or fixed scaffolding, safe working platforms to work from, and the provision of safe access and egress so that people can get to and from the work platform safely. For instance, they could have tied ladders or roof edge protection, including guardrails and tow balls to prevent items falling on people below. Where there is still a risk of falling, then you would also need to consider personal protective equipment that's suitable for the task, for instance safety harnesses and fall arrest systems with fixed anchor, anchor points, and or safety nets. You could also mention that skylights and other fragile areas should be identified and either covered or marked with signs and fencing to prevent falls. Waste needs to be disposed of using chutes rather than bombing by simply throwing things from the roof. And any tools, equipment and materials need to be taken up to the roof safely and usually that means using hoists. Taking competent staff, all people who are working on roofs need to have relevant knowledge and experience and to be informed in advance of any necessary precautions to be taken for the particular job they're doing at height and that includes emergency procedures so that they can get back down in the event of something going wrong. Protecting others. In order to make sure that people who aren't working on the roof are protected from the work that's going on up there, the area should be fenced or barricaded and signs should be erected. These measures meet the requirements of the UK's Work at Height Regulations 2005.